I have Sen, <laughs> my lovely Sen. I did her makeup today and I filmed all of it. She's the first person I've done like a legit cut crease on and I think it turned out pretty mom. What do you think? I like it. Oh, I forgot to put setting spray on you, but we'll do that right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want to see how she got this look and how I did it, then please keep watching. So we're prepping the skin. She's just applying the Tarte um, Drink of H2O moisturizer because she does have more dry skin, so we do need to keep it hydrated. Then we're moving on to the brows and we're using the Brow Wiz in medium brown. And then we're going to take the Melt Rust stack and take that shade Classic. And I'm doing this to set the base. We did use Urban Decay Primer Potion because she likes that one. And then we're taking this shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I honestly do not know the names of the shades, so I'm just going to point at them. So I'm sure you guys will know. Um, so yeah, I just use it as a transition. And then the, for this shade, I am just kind of deepening up the crease. This one, I take my time and build it in the crease because I just want it to be really like blown out and really well blended. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just, I just keep building. I'm going to take this deeper reddish brown shade and this is where I really define the crease. This is where it's going to be darkest. And then I'm also going to start like winging it out kind of um, so I get a better like feel for the eye look and it's easier for me to like carve out the cut crease if the shadow's already like placed that way I guess you can say. Now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. I just took the Kat Von D Locket Cream Concealer and this is when I start um, carving out the cut crease obviously and I really take my time with this because I'm so used to just my own eye shape I really had to adjust to hers so I would go back and forth between the two and I was taking, um, I forgot, this is a Sedona Lace Brush, but I ended up switching it out for a Morphe um, little like detail concealer brush and it really helped me wing it out at the ends. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend out the top again because again I want that really defined. I'm going to go back in with Classic and I'm going to go ahead and set the first half of the eyelid with this shade. Then I'm going to take Antique, which is a really pretty color, and I'm using this to apply on the last part of where I applied that Kat Von D concealer. So it's just going to be kind of like an ombre, like a gradient effect on the eyelid. And then I took a shimmery shade, it's the second one from the left, um, the Jaclyn Hill palette, and applied that on her inner corner just to bring some light to her eyes. Now I'm going to take the shade Rot, and I'm just going to go ahead and line her lash line with this. I didn't want to do like a dramatic winged liner, I just really wanted to line her eyes. And I'm just applying a coat of mascara. Then we're gonna go ahead and apply the lashes. She has here the uh, Ardell Demi Wispies, I believe. Um, but they came in the four pack from Target. These are a little bit longer than the ones you buy individually. Now I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is her favorite primer. This is the one that she uses already. So I just went ahead and applied that all over. Then we're taking the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. I totally forgot what shade it was, but I'm going to list everything down below. So if you guys want to know the color of um, this foundation, it'll be down below. Then I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything out with the Beauty Blender. Oh my god, you guys, I haven't done a voiceover in forever and I feel so weird. Because the way I edited this, I feel like I did it a little too fast. Okay, okay, now we're moving on to the concealer. This is the Tarte um, Shape Tape. I think she has it in the light sand. And we're just like highlighting and concealing obviously with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the Beauty Blender.
I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder. This is just to set the under eyes. It's a really nice powder, like when you don't feel like baking, it's a good option. Then I'm gonna take the Anastasia Stick Foundation in the shade Walnut, and I just dipped my brush into the actual foundation, and I started cream contouring on her. Now I believe I just took a powder bronzer. I don't remember which one it was, but I'll leave it down below because I can't think of it right now. Now I'm going to take MAC Peaches Blush, which is my all-time favorite. So I'm like, I'm just going to throw that on her because I feel like it looks good on everyone. Now I'm going to take the Nogol Guerrero Glow Kit. And I'm going to take Forever Young and Glow Getter and mix that together and apply it where... I want her to glow. And I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on her lower lashes. And she has really pretty lower lashes. I'm so jealous. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Aqua XL. And I don't remember the name of this one. I'll leave it down below. But oh my god, she's... She was such a baby when it came to this, it tickled her too much, so I couldn't even rim the whole bottom lash line. And then I'm taking the NYX Nutmeg Lip Liner and lining her lips with this, and then applying Anastasia's Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood, and then I went ahead and blended it out with a smaller um, detail brush. So this pretty much completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please let me know if you guys want me to do more videos on me doing makeup on other people. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. Thank you to Sen for doing this. Look how gorgeous she is. I love it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you when I see you. Bye guys. Okay guys, so I just got done with the video. Um, it's right there. I just finished editing it. Um, I wanted to add this part into it there because Sen is my friend and she's the one that does my hair stuff so she bleaches my hair and she cuts it she just did this cut right after we finished filming that video and i am obsessed you guys i love shorter hair it's more voluminous and it's definitely more lightweight it feels better if you guys are in the tucson area and you guys are looking for a bomb stylist she's good with bleach color um and cuts obviously definitely book her i'm gonna leave her instagram account down below and i have a little preview of it right here um, but yeah, thank you Sen for doing this video with me. I really really appreciate it and I love you um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you when I see you. Bye guys